ஹலோ க்ளவுட் டெக்கி ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் பீங் ஹியர் அண்ட் வாம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் செஷன் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டெமான்ஸ்ட்ரேட் ஹவு டு இன்ஸ்டால் கான்ஃபிகர் மானிட்டர் ப்ரம் தியஸ் இன் மைக்ரோசாஃப்ட் அசூர் க்ளவுட் சர்வீஸ் தியரிட்டிக்கலி இன்ஸ்டாலேஷன் ஆஃப் ப்ரம் தியஸ் இன் க்ளவுட் ஆர் ஆன் ப்ரிமிஸ் சர்வீஸ் இஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் சேம் ஹவர் க்ளவுட் போர்ட்டல் நேவிகேஷன் வில் பி டிஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஹென்ஸ் திஸ் செஷன் ஃபார் ஈஸி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் டு டூ இட் இன் அசூர் So we are going to navigate in Azure portal to install configure Prometheus monitoring service. To start with Azure, we need to meet certain three conditions. Um, so these are the prerequisite. One, in Azure portal we need to have these are the prerequisites like creating resource group and virtual networks and two VM, two virtual machine. One, we will be installing the prometheus and the another virtual machine is used to monitor so hence uh, so minimum criteria is like two virtual machine so we can install more than two virtual machine also and one public ip as we are doing demonstration and it is a free azure portal service for one month hence if it is a company level then we can use ssh all those things but here to add, to meet uh, to meet this level we need to have this prerequisite with bastion so it is like from web browser we can do ssh kind of putty we can uh, get it from bastion so these are the prerequisite we have to create it first and then we can install prometheus further for sample purpose we have chosen node manager and we can install that and we can monitor linux level monitoring like cpu load memory network file usage etc and within vlan to connect we need to have certain firewall removal so that we will check it later so first let's complete the prerequisite and then we will do next steps so so this is free service azure portal so as mentioned let us try to create the resource group first and then we can proceed for this so this is resource group let's click that and then by default this network watcher resource will be there so i will create one mm. so demo rg so demo resource group i have created so we can choose any region so better i'm just using this us2 and then if you want we can give tags all those things this is like uh, billing purpose and many extra things are available hopefully you know all these things but yes uh, this is mainly for billing purpose to differentiate finance department cost how much or administration department how much cost it is happening so like that to understand the expense and uh, many things also we can achieve via tags so let's ignore that and then i'm just creating one resource okay so we have resource group now so once resource group is created we need one more is second is virtual network so we need to have a virtual network so to create virtual network let's create one virtual network so under demo resource group i am just adding one virtual network so that is demo virtual network vn vn let's put one more keyword lab so we can put test okay so demo virtual network test and this same region i'm just creating then ip address default it will take this one if you need to choose anything else we can so let's use default and the subnet will be default for understanding purpose let's change the name as um, d 
demo subnet like that and then save it so then security level nothing you are going to do tag as as we described the tag we can use so validation passed so we are have going to have demo resource group and demo virtual network test and then demo subnet so that's it so we have created one virtual network now if we go here under this dashboard under virtual network and then that condition is like before having the virtual machine we need to have bastion so let's create a one bastion so here is the way to create the bastion to achieve it we need to attain some criteria first so we need to have one subnet which should be in the name as azure bastion subnet and that subnet must be at least 27 larger so before creating let's create one bastion here sorry bastion network so, sorry network so under this virtual network we have created this okay so we have one virtual network that is the most subnet the other subnet should be as mentioned also best in subnet let's put it here and that should be about 27 so 27 nothing else to be added here just save it okay so we have added So we got one more best answer. Now let us create VM. So we achieved create RG and then we have virtual network now and best also done. And we need to create virtual machine with one public IP. So anyway, it's a free service. So let us create virtual machine. So creating virtual machine has a lot of options lot of conditions but as this is just a demo purpose let's ignore some conditions and all so demo vm1 so the first demo we are going to get anything redundancy we record no record not record as of now 
but we can use availability zone or availability set availability zone is within region there will be three zones so you, if we want to maintain the redundancy we can keep one two three something even one goes destroyed other can be used, utilized that way we can achieve and then availability set is like fault tolerance within data center so this can also be achieved so as of now we don't need anything uh, and then image wise let's use red art and cost wise let's use minimum cost which is 501 if you want to know many things you can see here which are high cost which is low cost all those things so so let us use 501 per month the low cost one and then you can use either SSH public key or password so just for better way I am just using password method that will be easy or else we have to use SSH keywords so in both option you can use SSH power public key is the file you have to keep it very carefully if you lose that again it will be trouble if you have a password that also fine but security wise this is better so So we have created then disk. Disk also we have three types. Let's use the low cost one. And anything else here? Nothing. Networking. We are going to use virtual network where whatever we have created and the subnet which we have created, demo subnet, and then public IP. So just for understanding purpose, we need one. Management, nothing. But this is more, more, more useful when if it is company level, enterprise level. These options under we have to be very carefully selected. And the add-ons, we want to give any specific commands. Well, installation, all those things. Again, tag as usual. So validation passed and then we create the virtual machine. So this is one of the advantage within one minute we are getting one server ready with OS installed. If it is on premise it will be taking <laughs> like depends the availability of those things so we have created one VM now which is in deployment in progress so once it is done and then we will create one more VM with the same method This time we will be adding one, one more VM as demo2 demo VM2 then same place no infrastructure redundancy and we will use Red Hat only and then 501 rupees just one CPU one GB memory and then we will use the password methodology only user 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 yeah and then same just use low cost ed anything else nothing. networking level uh, public IP we no need you can select none also but let it be there we will be destroying it anyway so next management 
advanced tag nothing view and create running for final validation validation passed i think deployment succeeded which one this is old one so let's create so vm1 is successfully created one good news is that we will be getting notification even any marketing level also you will be getting notifications So this is in deployment progress. So whatever we want, we have taken it now. So we have completed the prerequisite. So we have everything now. 